Hello YouTube, it's Jim Chapman, American Air Gun Hunter. A place that I really enjoy hunting uh, because there's a lot of a lot of forest, a lot of land, hard, a good mix of hardwood and pine. And there's a lot of public land to hunt, but not only that, the squirrel populations are really very healthy. And uh, the, the predominant uh, species that you find up there are the gray squirrels. They don't have any fox squirrels, at least that I've seen. People I've talked to haven't seen them around. But they have a lot of the black color face of gray squirrels. And as you know, part of my, my squirrel grand slam is to get that. So I'm going to go in and see if I can get a, a black squirrel or two in that, that bag. I've been, uh, I've been camping a lot while I've been out hunting so far in the last couple months. You know, seasons started to slowly ramp up and the weather was still kind of nice. But it's getting cold. It's cold right now and it's forecasted to really go to hell in a handbasket weather-wise in the next couple of weeks. This might be the last day I get uh, today and tomorrow of any uh, semblance of nice weather. And it's, it's cold right now. So anyway, um, I went online and found a nice little motel in one of the towns up there. It's on a riverfront. It looks kind of rustic and cool. So I'm looking forward to getting up there. I'm going to go in, check in today. Um, I'm going to drive. Uh, uh, Jonathan dropped a pin um, where he suggests we meet up to hunt. I'm going to drive up there uh, today, just walk around. I'll carry a gun. I probably won't use it. Uh, I notice the squirrels are much more active in the, the mornings than the afternoons. But I'm going to walk the area, check it out, and uh, and get a, a lay of the land. As I mentioned, I've been there before, but the last couple times I've been there, there have been leaves up on the trees. And as you see right now where I am in Minnesota, they're already starting to come off uh, heavily. They're almost all off, and uh, I'd say about 70% off. And where I'm going is 150 miles up north. It's uh, it's right under Lake Superior. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go there. I'm going to get checked into the motel. I'm going to jump in the car. I'm going to drive out to the pin drop get out, walk the area, look around, go back to the motel, get a good night's rest, get up early, meet Jonathan about 7.30 tomorrow morning. So uh, come along, it's going to be a fun hunt. Right now though, before I go, I'm going to, I'm going to put the uh, Seneca on the bench. I'm going to shoot some, uh, some groups uh, using both the JSB Exact 25 uh, caliber pellets and also I'm going to use the uh, FX Hybrid slugs. I'm going to shoot uh, a few rounds with those to make sure that the gun is, is hitting on. Yeah, just a couple words about this FX crony. It's a game changer. I've got uh, a couple of, uh, of the traditional cronies and I hardly ever brought them out. They're just such a pain. I'd have to set them up on tripods, get everything set up, right for distance. I mean, it's not a huge problem, but it was enough that I just wasn't motivated to use them. This little thing, besides being accurate, I've compared it to my other crony. It, uh, it's so easy to put on. I can just strap it on the gun. Even this one where the overhang of the uh, reservoir made it hard. I put it on sideways. It still worked fine. Um, it's been a game changer. As I'm going out and I'm, I'm tuning up guns, as I'm working my way through them, seeing where to set, especially in the adjustable guns, the things, uh, things just really a godsend. So uh, anyway, if you if you don't have a crony, you're looking for one. I would I would really recommend that you look at this uh, this uh, FX uh, pocket crony. It uh, does a fantastic job.
Well, I got to uh, the hotel and got checked in, and now I'm taking the coordinates. My, my friend Jonathan out here uh, dropped me a couple of codes to a place where he said he's he's seen a bit of squirrel activity, and um, I just put those into my GPS, and I'm shooting over because tomorrow I'm going to get going out here before daybreak, and uh, I want to make sure I'm going to the right place. And not being able to see any landmarks, I'm going to have to trust my GPS. So I'm going to do a test run right now and make sure it's getting me to the right spot. And um, I'll uh, show you a little footage of the place today before, uh, so you know what we're heading out for tomorrow. It's coming down, Jim. There's one at the base of the tree. No, the base is up there. The one I'm looking at. Oh, uh, there's two then. There's one at the base and one on the tree behind it. Alright, been out today squirrel hunting uh, in, uh, in Wisconsin. Uh, started coming up here last year. I really like this place for squirrel hunting. One of the reasons is they got these, these black ones up here. I don't know, they're more common, probably about 25% of the population of the blacks, but still like coming after them. It's something different for me. I love squirrel hunting. Uh, anyway, today I was out with the uh, Seneca Avenger uh, 25 caliber rifle. Uh, this gun has a lot of features, and it's surprising, and I'll tell you in a minute why it's surprising. But uh, the features it has, it's, it's got a regulator. So you have dual, um, dual pressure gauges, one to show you your setting for the uh, regulator, one to show you the pressure of the gun itself, the fill pressure. Uh, the gun uh, is uh, very air efficient, so you get a lot of shots at a very consistent uh, velocity. A lot of things I like about it. It's got a tube rather than a bottle, which uh, gives it a little bit more sleek profile. It fills with the standard uh, Foster type fitting uh, to go up to 4,500 psi. Uh, my tank was low, so I'm only up at 3,000, but with the regulator, still consistent, doesn't matter. The other uh, thing I really like about this gun is the side lever. Very smooth cocking action on this. This lever cocks so easily. 
nice trigger on it. Um, all around, it's a, it's a nice little gun. But okay, here's a surprising thing that I mentioned. This gun is under 300 bucks, and to get a gun with a side lever cocking that's this smooth and this well engineered, to get a regulator in the gun at that price point is really uh, phenomenal. Uh, this would be a great intro gun for a lot of hunters, and one you can stick with. Uh, anyway, Seneca Avenger, out for schools, Wisconsin, had a good day, bagged the limit, and uh, get ready to head back home now.